Oh. Hi, Jared. Welcome to Zelf on the Shelf. Hi, welcome to Zelf on the Shelf. I'm Tanner Gilliland. And I'm also Tanner Gilliland. And Just we kidding. are... Oh, mine was a joke. Sorry. Hi, guys. Today I was preparing a video for me and Tanner to do on Tuesday. In the midst of my research, I was finding a lot of alpha dating TikToks that I thought someone needs to react to this. But that's, uh, you know, we already have a different idea for Tuesday. So I thought... Jared, let's bring Jared, in Jared. As the most alpha person you probably know. Yeah. Um, I'm here to give feedback to this. I was a featured guest in Betacon. Um, I have made appearances here on the Zuff on the Shelf channel multiple times, unpaid. <laughs> I'm glad to be back, but you guys have cat hair all over everything. Yeah, yours. they like it like that. There's sort of a familiarity to it. Do Housekeeping I bits. Jared won't be in Costa Rica this September, but I will be and Tana will be. So uh, if you have disposable income, join us on that trip. Um, okay, well, I have to come and say about that. Yeah. Um, I'm not invited to the Costa Rica trip, which is devastating. So... Um, if you want me to come onto the Costa Rica trip and make Samantha invite me and Tanner, then smash that like then button. Personally, send Jared three and a half thousand dollars so you can come. And there's somebody, but not at the expense of donating to our Patreon and PayPal because we really need more monthly donors to keep the channel going. Honestly, they need it more than I do. Like they are true charity cases, and <laughs> they need everything that they can get because they are poor. Thank you, Jared. That's really sweet. Yes, very poor. So and uh, so anyway, um, I won't be there, but. So you obviously starred in our hit video, Betacon, where, you know, you forgave your dad through drumming and, and other non-toxic things. Dad, I forgive you. Dad, I forgive My patented. How much do you sort of identify with the male alpha worldview based on the content you've seen thus far? Well, first off, I want to say I was performing when I forgave my dad during the drumming because I never didn't, forgive, didn't never really. Forget. Um, but... I, how do I, what was the question? Do you resonate with any alpha messaging that you see online? Oh, those motivational yeah. guys that are like, do it. Do it. Actually, I do. I love it. I, I get those videos all the time and they'll just be like some dude. Like if you really wanted to have a million dollars right now, you'd go out and get it. You'd just wake up tomorrow and do it. And I'm like, yeah, I would. I would wake up and do it tomorrow. We are the two genders because all the content I gravitate towards is like, there is no pressure to do anything ever. Okay. The way that you achieve is through non-doing slowly and then yours is like Wah! do you want to get stuck in to some alpha content yeah i do i can tell the intro is stressing you out and i get it no, because the not, intro stresses me out too i'm not stressed i'm just so nervous <laughs> to be on the show <laughs> go follow jared on instagram at wine mom jared that's i mean his only payment for doing this free labor will be uh the internet attention you give him so really sound off in the comments about his new haircut that he just got yesterday which yesterday, i think we can all agree looks exceptional and it like, took like five pounds off my head i've been mm. like whipping my head around too much like mm -hmm. when i turn a corner it's like because i'm used to the weight and now oh, it's gone God. and everybody's been saying that i look so cute which is is nice so give my page a follow um on instagram and and uh send me a message say what's up you know we'll see what happens alpha law number one Treat every interaction with a female under the law of 10,000. Okay. Every day, 10,000 girls are turning 18. <laughs> every Initial thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> he had me with like, I'm like, okay, cool. You're it's like, a numbers yeah, game. I love a good law. 10,000, yeah. nice solid number. 10,000 hours. Where are we going with it? Nope. Every day, 10,000 17-year-olds become one day old enough for you. Every day. Seemingly a 40-year-old man to date so don't sweat it bros and then babies are being born too and they're going to be 18 in yeah, 18, and 18 years, years so if from you think now about, add them to that those, number but, yeah every day future 18 year old girlfriends are being born yeah powerful stuff i get older but all my girlfriends stay the same age mm. every day ten thousand girls are turning 19 every day ten thousand don't limit yourself to just 18 <laughs> it also 19 20 you know a whole host of women far too young for you girls are turning 20 and so on that's how you guys handle rejection. There's a new bus stop every four minutes. You guys will- <laughs> It's pretty disturbing that his main thing that he feels like is maybe a roadblock to having available people to date is whether they are of age. Like that's his yeah. main way that he's like expanding his pool, not by, you know, becoming more dateable in any way himself, uh -huh. but just by being like young girls keep getting born. You can manipulate 10,000 new girls every day, potentially. I get what he's saying though. Makes sense. Do yeah. you? Like statistically, number wise, it makes sense. It's not like there are a hundred thousand people in your area that are single, and of it's it's 
it's just an interesting why, lens through which to be. <laughs> why is he not talking about how many milfs are made every like they're like every day there's like thousands of new milfs, mm -hmm. which milf to me is, is more appealing than like an 18 year old, yes. like, which is a child. This is the other thing. This is the number one alpha law. This is alpha law number one. The first thing he thinks about when it comes to being an alpha is 17 year old girls turning 18. That's what springs to mind. I don't think he has the credentials to say that it's law alpha law number one. I think that there's, I, th I think they regulate that. So anyway, play it. Go ahead. We'll meet a new woman five minutes later, a day later, a week later, however long, but you guys will meet another woman. I promise you that, guys. That's how you handle rejection. Yeah. Don't let one woman affect the rest of your week, the rest of your day. You guys have to be resilient. You have to move on from that. The way to be resilient? 18-year-olds cannot stress this enough. I actually, it's kind of sweet. I do think that there's people who, you know, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. He, he said, Barely legal he said resilience. Right here on he's just like, on the well, he's like, you know, there are new children becoming barely adults every day. Gorgeous. But you guys keep your heads up. Be resilient. There's going to be somebody for you. They just haven't been born yet. Pretty depressing imagining that like the main thing that gives you hope for your dating life is that 17 year olds are turning 18. Like that's the yeah. thing that you cling to when times get tough and you're just in the trenches and you're like, I can't connect with women. They don't want me. I'm getting rejected left, right and center. Just think about all those 17 year olds that are turning 18 tomorrow. Yeah, I hate this one. Actually, <laughs> I thought I'd like it. Well, it's not over yet. Oh, <laughs> you've got more to glean. There's still hope. You got okay. a lot to learn, buddy. I will always give respect to the man that has balls to go up to a woman and talk to her even if he gets rejected. If a guy told me, Danya, I got rejected 10 times in, a, in one week, I would congratulate that man because at least he had the balls to go up and approach 10 beautiful women within that week compared to the guy who makes fun of him, who has no balls to even go up to a beautiful woman. So guys, keep getting rejected, keep going up to a woman, condition yourself. You guys will and condition her and if they are 18 that will be so much easier i would i want to apologize because i'm the guy who's been making fun of people for going up and talking to 10 women a week <laughs> 10 beautiful women and getting rejected and i'll give it to you you have big balls they're huge keep it up so there's something to be said for being com getting comfortable with rejection right yeah. and dating is a bit of a numbers game and it is good to kind of build up the skill of being able to approach people that you're attracted to but generally i just feel like the kind of energy that this guy is embodying and offering and encouraging um is probably the exact type of person that like should be afraid of going up to women like don't approach 18 year olds don't yeah. and also if your bar is 18 then you're going to miss the mark sometimes and they're not going to be 18 because you can't always tell this guy looks like he could be 28 or 40 i can't tell uh yeah i'd say he's probably 35 if i have to guess we'll become resilient over time i promise you that made me the man i am today you go back to the drawing board who's the man you are today i, I do not like what he's saying posture maybe you work on your body language the tonality of your voice the way you carry yourself something to really think about if you're scaring women change your voice your tonality is what's doing it it's not because it's, you're it's, a 35 year old <laughs> man talking to like high schoolers i love the thought that he's you know he's analyzed all that about himself and he's like no this is the tone of voice of your energy the things you say the only way you will learn is through your failures guys i promise you that kind of a mixed bag the messaging wise for me yeah messaging wise overall not what i would give to young men for advice trying to meet women but i am gonna try and just embrace rejection as a lifestyle more because if you don't ask you don't get guys please become a monthly donor and support this channel by paypal or patreon if you want to help us keep making content like this what's up with all their eyeballs though like every one of them is like yeah that i think a true alpha is always staring you know i saw a body language expert on tiktok that said if you meet someone that's always pretty like that that means they're like a very scared person like humans do that with their eyes when they're in panic so you know how a lot of like really crazy people sometimes that are scary will be like that all the time yeah there's something to it it was some like fbi body language expert that's why i always look at the ground when i talk to people <laughs> that's why i never make never eye contact, made eye and contact. They always look shifty but there was something that i used to do with women where i used to set them up to flake on me you want to invite her to meet you out during a time you know she can't make it uh-huh Okay, that's, that's the secret okay. to getting women. <laughs> I get that. I, I really am interested to see why you want them to flake on you. Yeah, because this is 
this is for women you like. Like this is a strategy for getting those women. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of women are gonna be like, this is a low down dog. I'm doing this for both of us, baby girl. So for example, a dental hygienist. I know she's working at 1 p.m. Be like, hey, Stacy, meet me for lunch today. Let's have a couple drinks and have a little bite to eat and get acquainted. Oh, I'd love to, but I'm working tomorrow. Quit oh, your job. You are? <laughs> Of course you are. I do. Uh, this guy is, does sound really smooth, though. Like the way he's talking, he's like, "Hey, Stacy." There's something more smooth about him than the last one. Yeah, but it's uh -huh. still the bars on the ground. And his teeth are so nice. And um, once you get off work, open a bottle of wine. We'll relax at my place. Not a problem. You set her up to flake or not be able to make a date. So then the next time the, the two of you get together, she comes straight to the crib. Okay, oh, so it's like that. Straight to the crib. That's... It's that strategy of if you ask someone to do something that's too big, they'll say no. And then you ask for a smaller thing and they're more likely to say yes because they feel bad that they said no to the bigger thing. Kind of an insecure strategy. Like just assuming that you need to even have like a thing. Like It's like, why don't you just ask her if she wants to come over that night? And if she says no, she's probably not the girl for you. It does feel... Feel What's a, alpha about that? It feels a bit manipulative. That, yeah, that feels like a major beta move or even whatever the one below beta is because it's like you're not... Wouldn't a true alpha... Sorry, this is becoming a serious video, but wouldn't a true alpha be confident enough in their own value that they wouldn't need to resort to these little like manipulative hacks to get a woman to... Like if I want to go over to a guy's house, uh... then that interest isn't going to be dependent on... Something like this, and would you, do you really want to go out with people that you that like this is going to be the net that catches them? I do think that there should be room in relationships for tricking each other, or like some room, yeah, yeah, like. But I think that should be co-created with time. This feels more like a funny prank than like <laughs> manipulation to me. Actually, the more that I'm thinking about it, <laughs> so far I kind of like this one. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. I think women don't want to have sex. They don't want to rush into it. Fear of judgment. Fear of how she'll feel about herself if she does it too quickly. So you kind of take the edge off for her a little bit so she can feel calm, relaxed uh, when she comes to meet you. First of all, how's that taking the edge off? How is how is the can you come for lunchtime no or right come after? How's that going to make her more likely to have sex with you? Well, because you don't want to invite her straight to your house right away. Like first day, like you don't want to do that. Oh, so so oh, you invite to a shitty date is. knowing she can't come. Outside, and really, then the backup is like, oh, if you can't do that, then just come over to my house. Genius. I'm getting it now. So he wants her to come over so they can have sex. But he doesn't want to on like the first date just propose hanging out of his house because then... Yeah. She'll know that that's all he's interested it, in, yeah. which sounds like that is what he's interested in. But it if is. you trick her into thinking you're interested in her as a person and would like to get lunch with her. I think it's a gift that you can give to the girl, taking the edge off, not making her feel slutty for coming over. And she it, it wasn't her fault because she couldn't make she couldn't make lunch. Yeah. So now she's going to come over and sleep with you. Gorgeous. Well, let us know how that one plays out for some of you. I ended up saving a lot of TikToks from this guy because he's a dating coach. Oh. And uh, so so we're gonna we're gonna oh. dive into him a bit more. Oh, that's so gross that there's dating coaches like that. Yeah, coaching is an unregulated industry, you guys do not forget it. Amen. Listen, can I just be honest with you? If a woman ever left you, you were no longer valuable. Oh. Ladies <laughs> <laughs> if you were a piece of shit and that's why wait is so the man's not valuable if the woman leaves him yeah if you were a valuable man a woman would never leave you it's not that you can just have two people who are both valuable and great but maybe just like not quite the right fit no nope, you're a piece of shit something's wrong with you <sighs> that's a lot of pressure okay. again this person is a dating coach D don't smile because if a man ever left you you weren't valuable you must maintain okay. <laughs> damn two-way shame love it yeah, I, at least there's equality in Equal this. Equal shame. Yeah. Also, loving someone is a decision. Love is a lifestyle. Love is a, w a way of being. That's what love is. Someone saying, I love her. That means I love you good and bad. I love you. Desirable and shit I don't really like. I still love you. In love, be, be, be cautious when, you, when someone says I'm in love with you. Because that's based on how... I think love is more of a funny feeling in your tummy. You can't quite describe. You're not really sure what it is, but like, doesn't make you laugh. But sometimes it does. Like the wrist told <laughs> behind the phone. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what love really is. You've been working on some love poetry recently, have you not? Because I know this is a topic you <laughs> yeah, think about a lot. What I is did. Love, I actually, I actually wrote a love poem this morning um, while I was thinking about love. Um, should I just say the poem? Yeah, I think just. Do you care you, if I you just say the poem? Must have memorized it <laughs> okay, well, if you wrote it this morning. Yeah, I did. Okay. Love is a funny little guy. It is a feeling in my heart and a sparkle in my eye. It makes me happy 
and it makes me sad. If my girlfriend's not happy, then I will feel bad. I don't want my girlfriend to be mad, <laughs> so I'm going to be a good cat dad. And if that doesn't work, and she leaves me anyway, then I know I'm not valuable, and that she might be gay. <laughs> She might be. <laughs> I wrote that. I wrote that poem right after I took my my testosterone pill yeah. and caffeine for my workout, and it just. I guess it just like loosened something up inside my heart, and I just. I don't know. It was. Did you like it? Yeah, I mean, obviously, I loved it. Connected quite deeply. Let us know in the comments if you liked the poem that I wrote this morning after I took testosterone and kratom. <laughs> kratom. <laughs> and if you don't uphold the way they feel their love for you will begin to diminish it's just the truth in love is conditional love is a decision now obviously a sensible person is not going to love things that aren't good for him or the or the other person but you know what i mean i you don't know what, know what mean. you mean i you actually, know what i mean i got really lost <laughs> yeah, me the end. okay so loving someone is a decision love is obviously a lifestyle be be cautious when you when someone says i'm in love with you because that's based on how you've made them feel. And if you don't uphold the way they feel, their love for you will begin to diminish. It's just the truth. I mean, it's a bit of a semantics thing that we're getting into here. People have a lot of different conceptions of love. I did the love in love. Everyone has a different version of all of those. But uh, so he's basically saying love should be something that you're like choosing and love how is... they make you feel shouldn't be a part of it. Because if you like uh. the way that you're boyfriend makes you feel then you don't do you truly love him because i'm love is a verb love is a verb yeah that's i think that's what he's trying to say but you know what he means he's a poet you know he waxes lyrical and i think the rest of us don't always yeah and i think that's a pretty good question what is the love thing like what is that tell us what you think love is in the comments below is it a biochemical reaction designed to facilitate survival or, or a it, wrong answer that's different from what I just said. Just kidding. I believe in love. I think love is the nature of all things, blah, blah, blah. I do like love. <laughs> Have you ever had a girl send you a picture? I and wish. And you responded to the picture. Most of the time, kind of simpish. But you responded to the picture favor. Simpish to, to like hype a girl up when she sends you a If a girl sends you a picture, you better simp. Neg her. No. Again, all of these people are the furthest thing I can imagine from alpha because all of their, it's just all, everything they recommend is just based on insecurity. Not on, anyway. Yeah. Uh, not on actually like seeing yourself as inherently valuable and worthy of love and connection. Listen to this. So normally a girl will send you a picture. This happens from a lot, obviously. Yeah. And you normally reply something simpish. And then she kind of just either didn't respond or she responded, but then just kind of took off. Has that ever happened to you? I've definitely Has this had, ever happened to you? <laughs> <laughs> definitely had girls run away from me like as fast as they could, but. I was just trying to put myself in these many women's shoes. I feel like if you send a guy a picture and then you get the, it's it's like, you're not always trying to like then just keep chatting. I feel like there mm -hmm. are guys that the minute you engage, they think that you got to just like keep talking. And it's like, she's just wanting to send you a thing to let her, to let you know that she's thinking about you, something fun and flirty. Not yeah. not sure what type of picture. It was just kind of like a sexy selfie, the ones he showed. Yeah. But it's like, I, I don't think it's that she's like going cold on you. I just think there's not always a big conversation to be had after. You might be a bit insecure if you feel like you need to keep the text conversation going and going and going. I think you should at least like the picture if they send it. Oh, for sure. If a girl sends you a good, like, good looking picture, you should really hype her up. But do you do, here's the question. Do you do the heart or the thumbs up? I guess it depends on if you're in love or if... Uh... Well, I think that's so, like, because you got to give an actual response to a picture. You can't just do a reaction. No, that's how you give your power away. Mm. And they know that you just, actually saw the picture. Just do the thumbs up and then that's it. <laughs> Mystery move. Just the emoji. Yeah. I want you to know she felt low in that moment. And she said, I need some attention. And I need him to respond. See, it's the... What? Just because a girl isn't get staying in a long text exchange with you after she's gone out of her way to send you a picture, you're immediately assuming some kind of like slightly negative intent that she oh, it just meant she was just doing it for attention and she doesn't really like you. Yeah. It's like what if she just has she's busy for the rest of the evening? Her life doesn't revolve around texting you. So he did say that she 
was feeling low and that's why she sent the picture? Yeah. Okay. If, if she's not willing to keep texting you for the rest of the day, then that just means she only did it because okay. she was feeling bad about herself. Yeah, I get that. I totally get it. Sometimes when I'm <laughs> feeling super sad, I'll just take a picture of my bum hole and I'll send it to like everybody I know. Anyone who will take it. No, it seriously, it brightens my day. <laughs> like that's the only thing that can turn me around sometimes. Nice bum hole, Jared. <laughs> yeah, they people cry. like, I get so many <laughs> thumbs up. Like They're just so used to it. They're just, <laughs> <laughs> they're just like, don't even <laughs> <laughs> no, I've been blocked by like everybody on my contact <laughs> list. I don't have any friends. <laughs> See, it's the response that gives a woman life. It's not you that gives her life. It's the response that gives her life. Okay. This is why women go on date. I want to give women life. <laughs> I want to give her a life, give her life through my response. <laughs> Dating apps and have no real intention of ever meeting a man. They seek relevance. Especially as they got, he's so bitter. He's so bitter. Age, they, they want to know if they can if they can still pull. This man is like, women are all just seeking relevance when they text you. It's like, come on, my guy, look what you're doing. Yeah. Um. Can we? Does this guy have a girlfriend? Like, is he in a relationship? It's always can just we kind Google of a, him? none of these guys ever seem to be like in active relationships, but they're very confident about how to be in really good relationships, and they seem to just sort of hint at women really like. Yeah. But I'm like, I just don't. What women? I just don't think like healthy women are into this. So you might, your strategies might work on men that are more desperate for attention. I've never really liked healthy women. <laughs> <laughs> and they often have boyfriends when they do this, or sometimes they don't have a boyfriend and they just do it. But they Ooh. just making all these They're often assumptions. cheaters. <laughs> They're often fucking whores. That's something you guys just need to keep in mind. They have no intention of ever meeting anybody. They just, they need to get the numbers up. They need to get likes up. They they get the validation up. When the validation is up, they they are cool for a minute, and they so they deactivate. Damn, I love projection as a TikTok content focus. I think there's a life lesson in there about how we are constantly seeking validation from others, and we get this false sense of identity that like, oh yeah, you know, I've been validated here, and people actually like me. I'm a good person. I guess there isn't a life lesson in there. Sometimes the life lesson is just women are evil and constantly turning 18. And cheating. And they're all whores and they're all cheating. I don't know what words you can say on YouTube. You can say, you know, we are still on is this it guy. All I'm this sorry. Guy? I'm sorry. I just went, I went down a rabbit hole with this guy and then everyone I just wanted you to see. So this video does lean heavily towards this guy's content. Okay. I do like his eyebrows. But he's like, Pop, you know what I mean? He's the one that's coming up. So I'd assume he's kind of a relevant figurehead for the genre. You know, I just realized I'm the perfect person for this video because I listened to the game on <laughs> our audiobook. Which you just raved about. Will you tell people what the game is for people who don't know? The game is a book. Um, it's like the secret life of a pickup artist or something. And it follows this guy who is like this loser, but then he learns about pickup artistry. Then he learns about keeping a p piece of lint in your pocket in the club so you can pretend that you picked it off of a girl. Then he learned about that. It, it's all just a bunch of like tricks and ruses to like um, get women to sleep with you. Feels heavily geared towards magicians from what I And then, Yeah, there's a lot of like sleight of hand and stuff. Very... <laughs> it's honestly magic adjacent. No, it is. Yeah, yeah. Like they, they, they do magic tricks for girls. They'll, mm. uh, they, but they that. won't buy them a drink because that's simpy. Mm. Um, they treat them like garbage. And I think that rule number one is like, don't fall. Well, the law number one is to never fall in love. That's not the law. Number one, law love number is a, one is, is verb. No, 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 law number one is girls are turning 18 every day. Yes. Law number one is girls are turning 18 every day. But rule number two is don't fall in love with these girls because that's going to ruin your numbers. Yeah. You got to get your numbers up. That's what these guys are all doing. It's just. Getting... But then he's projecting onto women and saying that they just want to get their numbers up and yeah. they must be on, they have no intention of meeting up. I feel like guys will say that and it's like, or maybe you just don't give off the energy in conversation that would make a girl really feel safe enough to meet up with you. Based on this, I certainly wouldn't feel comfortable I think meeting that up with you. he's projecting a little bit. No. I read that book as a joke. I didn't mean to, like, but I just thought, I'm like, I've heard about it and I'm like, I got to see what this is. I feel like there's some kind of humor there but it really just made me sick and <laughs> i uh think pickup artistry is 
I mean, if you're good at it, it's cool. But I'm like, what about just the lost art of natural charisma and interest and looks maxing? I don't think that people who can do those things need pickup artistry. Yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? Okay, you ready to learn what you should say if your girl wants to break up? Yeah, just one more comment if you want to put this in. But um, I think <laughs> the world would be a better place if these guys, because it seems like they're really good with numbers, they should just do like accounting or like they probably do. A, a, oh, analyzing of like if, if jobs, not being coaches for... Like, because yeah. he seems like he would be good as a accountant. No, but I think he lives for the stage. Like, there's something about him that wants to perform and to be seen in it. Because I imagine, based on a lot of the things he's been saying, that he hasn't felt as seen as he needed to in his life. Do you think this video will hurt his feelings? Um. Well. No, because alphas don't have feelings. Say, They're never gonna see it, and they won't care. Even if they feelings. saw it, he would just be like, "Ha ha ha!" Get rejected ten times. What? What? You know. You're my ninth rejection so far for the day, and it's only 6.30 a.m. <laughs> I've been up since two. Let's say that your girlfriend blindsides you. Hey, listen, we need to talk. We need to end the relationship. Just not feeling it. I need space. There's one question that I do not advise that you ask the woman. Why? You already know why. <laughs> do not ask for closure or clarification <laughs> no. as to why you're breaking up. Did you hear? He's like, you already know why, player. <laughs> <laughs> you dirty dog. You already know. My player, you should know why you either didn't see the warning signs or you saw them and ignored it. This is what I want you to say instead of why. No problem. I actually agree. So let's go ahead and just end. If, you, if the love of your <laughs> life is like, honey, we need to talk. I think we should break up. Be like, I agree. I had that thought even actually before you said it. I'm the most excited about us breaking. You up. can't fire me. I quit. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I actually ended this relationship in my heart yesterday. So I broke up with you. Yeah. And I told all your friends about it before. <laughs> so like there's proof that I actually, it's not your idea. And I agree. You are a bitch. That's why we're breaking up. There's no and need to tell me. You're going to have no value now. In this thing now, we don't even have to discuss it. I'll talk to you some other time. Take care. And just walk off. If she goes, don't you want to know why? And we both know. You like live together and you're just like, yeah, I'd see you around. G, we'll cross paths when we cross paths. I'll leave a box of your stuff at the door. We don't need to talk about this. <laughs> it's all good. Just trust me. You're not going to want to do this, okay? You're, you're going to say, no, I need it. I love the thought of just like the minute she says there's something going on in this relationship and maybe we should consider ending it, just be like, from that point to 30 seconds, you're out of there. You're just immediately like, okay, best news I've heard all week. See ya. No, why? I need to stop this from happening. I need to, I need to prevent her from going with somebody else. It's too late. Look, you may never be with a girl again, but the last thing you want to do is tell her this why and start groveling and start begging and start giving her that emotional energy and she's going to break up with you anyway. The last thing you want to do is have normal human emotion when breaking apart a relationship that has been meaningful to you. No, just immediately switch off, dissociate, walk off. Did he say you may never be with a girl again? Docs her online. I think he meant or, like uh, the, girl, girl the girl again, girl, but okay. I had it like that as well. <laughs> you may never have sex again after this. So don't <laughs> ask why. She'll think you're don't a loser. Show fear. <laughs> <laughs> and then she definitely won't want to stay with you. But if you make her feel like you don't care. This, yeah, the strategy. She's going to freak out. She's going to start to feel anxious. And then she's going to be like, oh, maybe he's a good guy. And I really do love him. But you don't because love is a verb. And if you did, you have been doing that a long time ago. She's like, I feel like we should break up because it just doesn't feel like you care about my feelings. And he's like, no, too true, babe. Too true. I'm out of here. And then <laughs> the whole strategy <laughs> is to be so cold and uncaring that she'll actually want you back because you'll have diminished her self-esteem so much that it will make her want to stay with a guy who's not what she wants. I think that's kind of the broader... That's well, why the strategy probably does work yeah. in some situations with vulnerable women. And if you pretend like you don't care, it'll remind them of their dad. And yes. Then, yeah. Powerful. Uh -huh. And then they want your approval. So, a friend or a mentor such as myself, and we'll learn through it. Why show emotion when she's already proved that you don't have value or shouldn't be breaking up with you? That's what he said in his other video. Alphas don't have feelings. No wonder the strategies have to be so insane if your base assumption or belief is that if a, someone breaks up with you, it's because you aren't valuable. I don't know if this guy has like a great ring light or something, but like just looking at his eyes, Let's I'm like, great. <laughs> there's, there's no way like girls are breaking up with them. Like, look at like, look at his eyes. It's something kind of beautiful. There about really them. is. Like, yeah. Yeah. Evaluate it alone, evaluate it with a friend or a mentor such as myself, and we'll learn through it. <laughs> <laughs> I will teach you how to break down a woman. 
<laughs> but you go to your mentor and your mentor's just like, it's because you weren't valuable, dog, okay? You may never be with a woman again. It's a the specific of style of coaching that I don't personally resonate with, but maybe. Is it okay that it's still going to be him for two <laughs> more videos? Yeah, I guess this is the... This video is called Three Ways Women Are Ruthless. There's more than that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All women are ruthless and they're ruthless in three ways. One, they're ruthless to get a man. So if they have their eyes set on a man, they will do everything in their power to get that man. They will backstab their friends. They will f their friends, boyfriends, or husbands. Uh -huh. They will do anything. That's so us. This is really... Really resonating so far. Yeah. Thing and everything to get a man that they want. When they're not doing that, they are being propositioned by lesser attractive men, but they may have something going on for themselves, such as resources. All of these men truly seem like they just don't have never met a woman or just have never seen women as anything other than a commodity. Because I'm like, what? What women do you know who are all like this that you've come to this assumption that it's a universal law about women? Well, it's really some. It's some men that have been hurt they've been rejected mm -hmm. they thought they're they've been sold this fairy tale of love and then when it was their turn to take a stab at it um it didn't go like that and maybe they're creepy or maybe they didn't know how to talk to a woman or hold their hand and they were just nervous double and down then, get creepier get weirder then they had a buddy that was like hey well i bet if you're a dick to her she's going to like you more <laughs> and he's like i'm gonna <laughs> try you that tried being a flaming hot piece of shit have you tried being an arsehole to her? And then he tried it and everything changed. Sorry if I derail no, no, anything. No, no. I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> oh, really? This should be Tanner. <laughs> I should have been Tanner. But Tanner had his lobotomy appointment and he <laughs> couldn't make it today. So I had to come. But boy, will he be fresh on Tuesday. Well, and that's why I asked Tanner on a date because I knew he was having his lobotomy. So I was like, hey, <laughs> I was like, see. he's like, you know, I have my lobotomy appointment at 3.30. I can't go Just on the stage. Just come over and like, drink wine after Come over to my house then, then after. <laughs> come on. <laughs> come on. This whole kind of genre of content is honestly similar to religion, to a religion or a cult in that it's this ideology that is delusional and doesn't work. Like they're selling you the solution. They're selling you the antidote for the poison they're giving you. They're giving you ways to be terrible with women and to only attract inauthentic connections that you've garnered through manipulation. Yeah. And then like, yeah. it's just like, an abs it's all just an absurd worldview. It's a delusional ideology, but they're just, up they're yeah, let's find out the other two ways women are ruthless. But they may have something going on for themselves, such as resources, a lifestyle, gifts. They wouldn't be ruthless to get that man. However, since he is presenting incentives to deal with him, so she'll be ruthless in taking him. The reason women don't want you is because, well, of all other men are less attractive than you, obviously. It's nothing to do with your attractiveness, but it's actually because you're so attractive that um, women don't want to be with you because they'd rather be with a lesser man because a less attractive man is going to offer buy, her buy more, more stuff. Yeah. yeah, so... Women actually only don't like you um, because you're too good, I think is kind of the... My life experience hasn't been that way. It's been a little different. <laughs> the last thing a woman is, she's ruthless in getting rid of a man. So if she has dealt with you for some time and she's no longer interested in dealing with you, you are not who you portray. She has discovered that you are not who she thought you were. The fact that that's the reason she would break up with you. Again, he's <laughs> like, women are ruthless. Like they will get rid of you so fast when they realize that you've just been lying to her your whole relationship and giving her a completely false persona. You like trick her into coming over to your house on a first date and then she's like, ruthless because she's like i don't really like this guy <laughs> so if she has dealt with you for some time and she's no longer interested in dealing with you you are not who you portray she has discovered that you are not who she thought you were or she's already absorbed as much she can absorb from you she is ruthless to get rid of you ruthless to get you ruthless to keep you ruthless to take you and then ruthless to get rid of you so bottom line is just kind of that women are generally ruthless creatures and everything they do is an attack on you that, that's what women are. If so. a girl talks to you, she's ruthless. If she wants to share her feelings, ruthless. <laughs> if she wants you to take her on a date, ruthless. And you are the hottest person in the world. There's nobody better than you. Women are just ruthless and you don't deserve this player. I'm like, what's the takeaway from this? Just in, again, it's just to become a shittier guy, AKA to not trust women. Like every thing this man teaches is just lending itself to men becoming more toxic. I, I do think that the pickup artist um, strategy is it, the more that you can like hire, like, yeah, it's all put yourself, power. Up, they're more, have more power than women. Then you won't be scared of them. Then mm -hmm. you maybe a less attractive man who doesn't have as much money can pull super, super hot babes and, and 
sometimes it works at first because you're charismatic because you have this new these new tricks and stuff it's all like these artificial ways of getting power or yeah. like ways of getting artificial power like a true alpha yeah. in wolves doesn't get into a lot of fights because they're like if i really had to like i could take that guy down but whereas a more insecure wolf is more likely to pick petty fights and we see this in human society right like the more secure men are the less like violent and manipulative and all you know all the things that are byproducts of insecurity come out someone who's truly secure does not need to use any of these methods yeah. so a truly high value man does not need to use these manipulation tactics to get I've, women i've never been in a fight in my whole life there you go and that's because i'm so that's strong and i could beat an anybody up never even like punched a friend or anything i mean i did punch my brother once that's it yeah but like never been in a fight i've been in more fights than you there's been some like dicey situations but i feel like my superpower is the voice of reason mm, not mine um, <laughs> women are ruthless so. yeah women do not have the voice of reason all right this is the last one from him and then we we will get to move on usually when you find a jaded woman a mean woman she has been mistreated by a foolish man well he's talking about that's my type though so keep going <laughs> look we've all been fools i've been a fool in my life there's been moments i've taken things and people for granted i've even taken Taking myself for granted and then you know life will bring you circumstances to reevaluate but i will tell you this i've never met a woman never that just was mean for no reason women are mean and tired and jaded and angry and independent and all these things that men like to call out because they were hurt by a man somewhere a woman would only be independent if she had been hurt by a man an angry woman is just a bear with a with a thorn in its paw and she can't get it out and she mm -hmm. needs a good alpha man like you to come and pull it out and teach her to love again over wine after work could have been the father could have been an uncle but it was a man and i'm just telling you like it is now is that an excuse to not get the help you need not to get the the therapy you need just the wild confidence that these men have while just making just assumptions that they have about life based on their own limited experience, which is like directly tied to their insecurity and the fact that they were hurt. And there's just like someone, the, but the level of confidence with the like, that's just how it is. That's how women are. I'm just telling it to you like it is. I'm surprised he even brought up therapy. I'm like, <laughs> I feel like any therapist will undo like any training that he's giving and they'll be like, yeah. you should maybe stop seeing this guy. Yeah, like what ther <laughs> the therapist is like, oh, your girlfriend said she was she's going to break up. With you. Just walk away immediately. Don't ask. Don't <laughs> ask why you're breaking up. Don't seek clarification. Don't seek closure. To not get the help you need, not to get the, the therapy you need. No, it's not. It's not an excuse to keep it going, ladies. OK, he, he recommended might... a therapy for the women, not for the guys. You no, being a, a B word is an excuse to not get yourself to therapy. I have to um, get through it. But I will tell you, when I see a woman angry and all that, I, I know someone hurt that little girl. Someone. Ew, what the and what about when we see a man angry? It's because he's strong and sad. I have to see how many followers he has on YouTube. Sorry. No, go ahead. Damn, he has a lot more subscribers than us. He has 69.7 thousand yeah. subscribers. His main video, how to know if a woman sees you as a simp. She will say these things to you. God, I wish we'd just done a full deep dive on this guy now. Oh, this video is called Fuck Her to Sleep. Five Ways to Humble a Modern Woman. That was a live stream that he did. A two hour video. I don't even want to know. I don't even want that on my subconscious. Like Why I... women won't, don't cook for men. Because <laughs> women can be players too. How women get men to spend money on them. I need to save that to watch later. <laughs> well, we don't have time to do a YouTube dive right now because we've got more TikTok, TikTok content to watch. But if you want us to do a deep dive into his, maybe I could make Tana do that for a weekly video. Uh, deep dive. Oh, into this so I'm getting, I'm getting guy. kicked off the show. This is my first one. It's and just I'm purely for scheduling. Just... I mean, this can be, it can be YouTube. <laughs> Hey guys, if you want me to stay on the show, smash that like button and send use your like button smashing to send a message to Samantha and Tanner that you want me here. And I promise that I'll do my best and I'll always come with a good attitude. Let's watch another one. This is four dating tips every man must know. Every man. So listen up. Four dating tips every man must know. One, women will say one thing, but their actions will say another. Like All of this content is just like, <laughs> women are the fucking worst. Do not trust them. Every man must know this. What they don't like, don't like what they like. A female will tell you, I want to be with you every day. I what? want to be up under. If a woman says she likes something, that actually means she doesn't like it. So okay. don't take it's there's no point taking an interest in her likes and dislikes because she's lying anyway yeah she's just an object to be manipulated under your skin but the moment you give her all of your time and attention 
She is losing attraction for you, bro. And then three months down the line, I need a break. I can't do this. But you're doing everything she wanted. Come on now, bro. They do not fucking like nice guys, bro. They say they want the good morning and good night. They say that they want flowers sent to them, all of this shit. But the second you do it, they lose attraction for you. What they like is they like the aesthetic. Um, if they you're... all demonize, like, they all say, like, women don't like nice guys because they all see themselves as nice guys. But it's like, I don't think you're really being nice guys. You're just being needy. And, like, that's not, we don't need yeah. to shame that. But it's like, you're acting insecure and she's picking up on that. And so she's not, you know, it's not like a very attractive energy. But then your response is just to be like, so fuck her, you know? She just wants a guy who treats her like shit. I think that girls do like nice guys. I think we do, yeah. And I think some boys like nice guys too. Yeah. Think of it to show off to their friends and family. But when I sent her flowers to her desk every single day for three months straight, suddenly I was a weirdo just because <laughs> we'd never gone out. When I sent her flowers after the restraining order, she got <laughs> pissed. You said you like flowers. Think of it to show off to their friends and family. Like, bro, every girl that I deal with, I don't do any of this shit, bro. And guess what? They're fucking with me. And I'll always ask them, why me out of all the guys in your phone? Oh, because you're different. You're not like the rest. I don't compliment them like that. I don't see them every day. I text them all day. Apparently this works to get girls. Number two, a female cannot love you, bro. She loves how you make her feel in the moment. Oh, that was the first one. Just act like you're barely even in a relationship with them. Don't show yeah. any warmth, kindness, care, concern. You don't even compliment them. Just stay cold as ice. And when you're like, why do you choose me over all these Guys in your phone, she's like, you're just different. Obviously, it's because you're activating her daddy trauma that she's trying to play out through you. This guy's been hurt before, and I really feel for him. Yeah. Ooh, a female cannot love you, bro. She loves how you make her feel in the moment. But y'all dudes really... Sorry, was that just a general statement? A female cannot love you, bro. Like, that's just not real. Like, women don't... Women don't um, love. Seems like every, like, guy like this yeah. in this area is like, Females lie. It's like, well, first of all, why are you saying females? Yeah, that's <laughs> you weird. You sound that like feels a fucking like... weirdo. No wonder girls <laughs> yeah. don't like you. Just the completely unnecessary over genderization of everything. Like, they, mm -hmm. he's just in invented this, or a lot of these people, they invent this reality where women are not the same species. Like, they are not human beings the way that you are. It's like the way to understand women is not that different from understanding yourself. Like, yeah. women and men obviously may have been socialized in slightly different ways, but it's like, we're all human. We all want to. Women are human. You heard it here first. A female cannot love you, bro. She loves how you make her feel in the moment. Yeah, gem just general statement. Women yeah. can't love you because my mom didn't love me. So that's obviously just kind of a problem with women as an entire gender. I've never met a woman who loved me. <laughs> Ever. No, you haven't. Two types of dude in this life. Men that believe in love and men that understand female. And men that got big dicks. Ah! If you believe in love, you don't understand females. That was the, it's, there's only two types. There are two types of men. They also, this is another thing with these guys. They all like create these really firm rules. Of, like there's yeah. two types of men. Yep. If this is happening, this is what, there's no like flexibility in their worldview whatsoever. It's so funny. If you believe in love, you don't understand women. If this isn't a mother wound on display okay. on the internet, I don't know what is. Well, so just so everybody at home isn't getting confused, these are actually the rules one and two. The first one, uh, law number one, is that 18, is 18 a, a thousand 18 year olds are born every day. And then mm -hmm. this one is the rules one through three. Slightly different. Yeah. Just so you don't get confused. Like, yep. we don't think too far ahead. Disney fairy tale bullshit. And also always put your purpose first. Because when you chase your purpose, she's chasing you. But the second that's flipped and your purpose is number two and now you're- Is your purpose telling other people this kind of stuff is true? Is that what your purpose is? I hope he has things outside of this TikTok. Oh, he's so jaded. He's so hurt. Yeah, he could do so many good things. He's a handsome life. boy. There's so no handsome. need for this. You got to unlearn this, my guy. Women do not want this. You do not seem okay. You're chasing her. She's your main priority. She finna put you second and leave your ass. You always want your girl chasing your time and attention, bro, because- Yep. Keep her in a constant state of anxious, preoccupied attachment. Hypervigilance about whether or not you even give a flying fuck about her at all times. That is the way to get women, bros. It's kind of true. <laughs> that may be true, and that might work for some of y'all, but that's called an anxious, avoidant attachment style, and it doesn't work out long term. So if you really want to love, you got to put in the work. You got to be honest. You got to reach out for your loved one. If you're avoidant, you got to try to get close and come and have a chat. And if you're anxious, maybe shut the fuck up for a second and then just meet each other with the verb of love. And I think that that's, that's how you get girls.
Do you got that on? I'm sorry. I no, thought I'm it was a good point. It. No, don't use it. Bro, because if she's not asking you for more of your time and attention, you're giving her way too much. If she's not feeling like you don't care about her, you, you're caring about her too much. If she's not feeling like there's fu something fundamentally missing in this dynamic, mm -hmm. you're ruining this, my guy. Well, I don't know what rule it was, but that love isn't real or that women can't love you. Mm -hmm. So like, why do you want a girlfriend? I know, what are you going for? I, that's and the if, thing. Because it all comes back to just seeing them as status symbols. It is a status symbol, Commodities, yeah. ways to enhance their own fragile sense of self. I get it though. Look at my girlfriend. That's a great status symbol. That makes me feel amazing so i get it but i wish love was real that's all i'm saying yeah well that's a bummer given that it's not we just gotta make dating decisions based purely on status games and that's why i'm so glad your new haircut looks so good three stop being so fucking available every time she calls you don't have to answer every time she you don't have to reply to your literal girlfriend or life partner guys he texts you don't have to reply so fast like, bro, you got to be mysterious. Let her think about you. Let I do think that's true. That's some good advice. It's, you got to be mysterious. It if always, you're full bore too soon, that's too much. It always comes back to magic. It's like, you got to be a little <laughs> mysterious. Can you edit like a, a fire? <laughs> fire like that's more of a Tana editing thing. So no. Four, when you're in a talking stage with a girl, keep your fucking options open. All your fucking other options off for one girl. I agree with that. Yeah. Don't in the talking stage cut off all your other options. I love just the um, headers for dating tips every man must know. One, women are backwards. That's not a tip. <laughs> a tip is like Two, buy her women flowers. women can't love you. <laughs> Three, be mysterious. That one's good. Yeah. Four, don't cut off all your options. But the first two are just women can't love you and they're backwards. It's like, just date men then. God, you don't seem like you're cut out for a relationship with a woman. You sound like you might be homo-romantic at least. Who would man manipulate who if it was two alpha males that's the thing though yeah because they'd both be just feeling like they're getting tricked Out all the time i know can you imagine a relationship where everyone is doing this level of game playing at all times i mean yeah. that's why all their relationships will suck because it's all built on games yeah and just false assumptions about people it's not about like having this open-hearted curiosity mm -hmm. about another person's life experience no women are backwards they're ruthless and they're lying to you if they say they like paddington too they don't like paddington too so don't buy it for her on dvd blu-ray we don't have a blu-ray player i'm not gonna buy it for you it's a status symbol you know i'm trying to expand my blu-ray collection can somebody send off on the shelf a blu-ray player <laughs> so we can start getting <laughs> do a not send us a blu-ray player please support us financially <laughs> on paypal <laughs> patreon once she starts talking to other men and inviting openly inviting sexual attention from other men she's putting herself back on the market no if and if she's that's what it sounds talking like. to other men or you know just posting like a sexy pic she's back on the market I, and she's probably already cheated on you i actually feel like i've already seen this one <laughs> <laughs> and you're like yeah yeah like my for you page <laughs> there's a bus about it she's putting herself back on the market she's talking to exes going on lunch dates uh you know i'm just going to have lunch with the guy at work it's nothing no doubt about it again they're always so certain with everything they said there's there's no other way to she's definitely talking to exes that's such a specific scenario that you're just assuming is happening yeah why would you go back that's that's excuse me that's a weird one these men are all very scared of going back to exes but they also like want to become the exes that women will go back to through being so uncaring that women will come crawling back well what does it all mean yeah i'm okay. serious all of this shit, once she start doing this, she's entertaining other men. She's accepting applications. She's lining up your fucking replacement. Any woman who loves and respects you will not entertain other men. They will not put themselves in a position to get... That, that kind of made me want to cry, like the music and I know, <laughs> so sad. <laughs> anyway, it's all it's saying is like, I've been hurt. But like any woman, oh yeah, any woman who loves and respects you will not entertain other men. Like she won't put her sexuality out there through like a sexy Instagram mm. photo. She won't get lunch with her male coworker. What this sounds like is his girlfriend left him and went back to an ex and then he stalked her Instagram and noticed that she put some cute pictures up there before she mm -hmm. broke up with him. Mm -hmm. And it is sad. He is no longer valuable as a man. <laughs> The saddest thing is what this says about his inherent worth, which is that it's on the ground. They will not put themselves in a position to get sexual attention, especially on the internet. But <laughs> I love sexual attention on the internet. Especially if they're doing it in real life, fine. But on the internet, no. Especially in the DMs. They will especially in the DMs, guys. 
look through your girl's DMs. <laughs> Check it daily. Open phone policy. No boundaries. Phone. Install cameras in every room of your house so both of you have access to it at all times wherever you are. Log into her Instagram on your phone so you can always be checking Dox it. Dox her online. Put one of those little trackers under her cars. Monitor her calls. Blur out any inappropriate photos that she posts, like with the fuzzy blurry thing and edit them. Crop out any cleavage, any legs. These are the secrets to lasting love, which isn't real. It's a delusion. Keep your girl in the basement and don't let another man see her. <laughs> or she will go back okay, to her Brigham ex. Young. <laughs> they will not respond to DMs. When somebody DM her, they gonna stay, they will not say, oh, no, thank you. I have Do not stop hyping up my sexy Instagram stories in the DMs, boys. I have a boyfriend. They'll leave them on red or leave them. Block your co-workers. I cannot stress this enough. Block every man on Slack. Do not let them interact with you. I'm seeing some contradictions in this because he's like, well, if she loves you, she won't do that. Love isn't real, apparently, and women aren't capable of love. This so it's guy like, might, this is a different guy, so he I might know it's a different love, guy, but, but yeah. these are rules. It's all kind of this, yeah. Every every dating guy on TikTok is very convinced that this is the way. They don't seem to have done any real like research into attachment or communication or relationships or. I honestly can make these videos in my sleep. Like <laughs> you should, you should make a parody one. After should this. I start? Uh, it would it be a parody. This is a men's motivation in the account, but it's like yeah. real soft boy motivation. That would be, would be really beautiful. No, 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 no. And I'll start taking on clients, and I can teach you how to get a girlfriend like Samantha, who I believe one day will be capable of love. <laughs> Stay at Delulu. <laughs> Any woman who loves and respects you will not entertain other men. Nothing but straight fire from that one. I'm trying to be a, a good woman to you. So let's find out, I yeah, guess, what I'm I should be doing. I'm excited to see what you should be doing. Yeah. What's up, guys? This is three things that alpha males love their three women things. to do. Three things. number one is to give them compliments. So as you shouldn't <laughs> give them compliments because if you want a girl to think you're different and to choose you over all the other guys on her phone, you actually don't want to be giving her compliments. Uh, he's actually right. Us, us guys, we love compliments. Jared, you've got such lovely lips, such a rosebud mouth, which I find very charming. Thanks, babe. As men, we never ask for compliments. That's very unmasculine and uncool. You can you ask, you can ask. You don't have to. I think it's cool. You can just ask at any moment. I feel like that's a flirting strategy of yours. You're just like kind of fish for compliments. But women love it if you got the right I do it. I do it so subtly, though. I'll be like, hey, will you tell me I look nice right now? <laughs> but still, we do love to receive them. Just like women, we are all bound by our ego. So don't become his fan and give too many compliments, but, but realize the small things and let him know and give him a bit of praise. I like that. Yeah, men do deserve so a toxic part of patriarchy is often that men don't get complimented as much as and they should. And we don't get flowers ever. Oh. Ever. Well, you say you want them, but then when I bought you 50,000 roses for Valentine's Day, you says it, said it was ridiculous to go into debt for that. Yeah, and it's bad for the environment. Great. Two is to make him feel important by asking for his advice on your life and the situations you're going through at work. You make, <laughs> Even make, if you don't need the advice. I was just going to say that. Make up a fake situation <laughs> where he can like just softball, softball him a question <laughs> about life. And he's like, oh, that's an easy one. When I was a boy, my father taught me this. And I really think that you could blah, blah, blah. Alpha men love when you pretend that you need their advice when you don't because their egos are fragile. And you know what? They're going to give it to you either way. So you may as well ask for it and just make him feel real nice. You may not even really need his input, but by asking him, you're giving him a sense of authority, making him feel important. And alpha males love to be dynamic. They love to be problem solvers. They love to get stuck in and help you. Mm -hmm. You really do though. Mm -hmm. That's so you. Even if there isn't really one there. <laughs> Even if there's Even no if it's possible. Even complete fucking waste of time. <laughs> and number three is quite simply to have some fun. So alpha males spend all their time chasing trophy women who then have the look, but often don't have the banter, the outlook, the sense of fun and adventure, and they completely miss this. What's the point there? The, are you, are you, oh, you're telling the women, because this is advice to women, right? So yeah. you're saying have, so like if you're a trophy wife, just become funny, okay? Just start doing stand-up comedy. I open mic on Wednesdays. Don't don't be serious all the time. Don't be like asking questions. Well, unless you want his advice, like just don't be don't bother him with stuff. Even leaving a man alone for a little bit could be fun. Considered <laughs> fun for some people. Sometimes the funnest thing for a couple to do is just never interact. Let him play Call of Duty all day. That's fun. 
and then tell him he looks great while he's doing it and then tell him ask, ask him how he beat the level and he can <laughs> give you advice and um, this is just a picture i wanted to show you because i thought it was really funny <laughs> so these are alphas I just love the idea of these 12 year old kids being yeah, like, like these I, the liberal man can't even comprehend how alpha i a child <laughs> yeah they're and the one like this like he that's... it's like you can't even legally earn money yet <laughs> oh god it's so chilling the way this all interplays with uh conservative political ideology none of them can comprehend the levels of alpha male in this one photo these five it's teenagers children, <laughs> children who are pre by definition dependent on their parents still they have more alpha male inside their little finger than the world has ever known in this one photo nothing's more alpha than getting pocket money you guys and libtards will never know i'm like dude these are the guys that are going to one day have to watch the dating advice stuff because it's like if you convince yourself as children because adults in your life have convinced you that just women as a genre are unable to comprehend reality i mean just like the it's insane like the levels of yeah. sexism that young yeah. is actually chilling and again they are saying females that is a red flag if someone's like i've been talking to 10 females today maybe they just mean generation out they are gen alpha i love just this whole thing that the whole thing with the beta is that he's weak but then like the entire ideology is just the most fragile thing you've ever heard of. but guess what rule rule number 17 there are new alpha males being born every day and they're gonna <laughs> need to be coached and we can we can sculpt the minds of the new generation the next new generation of alpha males this is the last one thank god they'll listen to their boss but if i say would you listen to your husband it's crazy I once saw you put a tweet that said if because you are an employee of your boss paid to be his worker their worker sorry <laughs> all women <laughs> stop working tomorrow society would function fine but if all men stop working tomorrow unhinged statement not true at all there are so many women in important positions in society at every level what a completely absurd statement yeah. society would be in shambles I respect you a lot, bro. I have to disagree with you here. Okay. My wife is the sole okay. reason I am as successful as I am. Mm -hmm. Every morning, she makes me a cup of tea and gives me a blow up. <laughs> then I start my work. <laughs> what the fuck? I think this is real, right? I have no reason to think this isn't real. That came out of nowhere. I was like, I was like, okay, he doesn't he agree with that. He wasn't like, I'm gonna have to disagree <laughs> with you there because there are a lot of women who are surgeons and doctors yeah, and pilots, grocery store workers like, in a central like. No, it's like, no, you're actually wrong because every morning my <laughs> wife gives me a blowjob, and if she didn't give me that blowjob every morning, how would I be able to get out there into the world and buy low and sell high? You yeah, tell me that, Pearl. I think that's why I've been struggling at work lately. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> cup of tea and a blowjob every morning, very generous. <laughs> yeah, that is. That that one actually, I don't know why I was surprised. That feels like a Saturday morning thing, but an everyday. <laughs> <laughs> that one got that one shook me a little bit. Okay, okay. Now, I could go without the cup of tea. I love how he clarifies the tea. <laughs> I could live without without the blowjob though. Don't, don't talk to don't me until I've me. had my morning blowjob. You don't want to see me before I've had my morning blowjob. But without that job, I wouldn't be as motivated to work as hard finish my day and to come back home to get some more. That's actually one of my Alpha King rules as well. It's Alpha King 202. A great woman will help you become successful a lot easier. That's actually By one of my rules cock. of manhood is a woman should have to suck your cock every single morning before you start your day. Honestly, he's like, I couldn't go to work and do meet all my goals and drinks or whatever <laughs> if I didn't get that morning blowjob. I'm like, I feel like I'd be too sleepy after it. Also, if like you're would... getting a blowjob every single morning, you're not going to be like, oh, I'm so motivated at work today so I can get home and get a nice... It's like, are you getting two blowjobs every single day? I, I'm sure that that exists. Well, and for some people, that's their sex drive. But I'm like, this is kind of a high up just of blowjobs as well. We're not talking about, you know, sexual experiences generally with each other. Yeah. Well, I think he only gets the second blowjob if he works really hard and does a good job. Is this woman getting masseter Botox? We need to know. Show me what a picture of her jaw looks like. Well, I feel sick. This is kind of <laughs> the same feeling I had after I listened to the game. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I was actually like, like I didn't want to make this a serious video, but it actually is like mind blowing the levels of sexism and all this content. The, the assumption, the only reason he can call out that women are actually necessary for the functioning of society is my wife gives me a blowjob every morning. So you're wrong about that. President Obama blowjob every morning. I felt bad even saying that. I don't know if he got one or not. I bet he did, though.
He probably was quite pinched for time a lot of mornings. It's only two a but day. But maybe it's like you much. can't afford not to take time to have a blowjob in the morning. You know what I mean? Women are ruthless. Love isn't real. Women are liars. Yeah. And they should be giving you blowjobs every morning. <laughs> and if you do a good job at work, you'll get one at night too. Mm-hmm. Well, that's the- <laughs> 14 blowjobs a week, everybody. Do the math. God, you know, as you're saying, there's new blowjob givers being born every day. <laughs> mm. <clears throat> that one's not going in. Well. No. <laughs> I'm so sorry for everything that I've done on this camera today. I'm not a qualified candidate for this <laughs> position. I would like to resign before I get fired. And I don't yeah, want to, I don't want to, I know why you're firing me. I know why you're kicking me off the show. I don't need to know. <laughs> I don't care. I'll leave. Gone. He's gone. <laughs> Walk out the door. I actually think Jared has a lot of promise as a YouTube personality. You just don't have the YouTube energy yet to like keep the... You know what I'm saying? There's a specific thing you have to... It's ruthless. It comes more naturally to women. It's because they're liars. Mm -hmm. Well, that's it for me here today. Go ahead and follow me at at WineMomJared on Instagram. And you can see all the fun things that I do. There's pictures of me with cats. There's some sewing stuff, cute pics, funny things, whatever. You name it. You Whatever you want. I'll give it to you there. Whatever you want, he posts once every three months, so you will not be disappointed. If I get one million subscribers by the end of the day, <laughs> then I'll get a blowjob. <laughs> <laughs> if your girlfriend has a male YouTube channel partner, she's cheating on you and she's going to go back to her ex. <laughs> Me and Tana do have lunch together a lot because I don't love and respect you. But that's the, the female condition, so... Yeah, and that's Say the alpha you. male way. I don't care. Bye. Thank you all for being here. You need to post for a thumbnail.